Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the amino acids. Uh, let us start with the lecture. Amino acids, as far as the introduction of the amino acids is concerned, as you know, the wall wall is formed of what the bricks. Bricks are the units of wall. Similarly, the proteins are formed of what? Amino acids. So these are the building blocks of proteins. Okay. You can show through the figure that uh, like, like this is amino acid, this is amino acid, amino acid, amino acid, amino acid. These are different amino acids and they are joined together to form a peptide. A structure which is formed by uh, different amino acids are same type of amino acids is known as what a peptide okay and if it is large it, it has a high molecular weight it is known as what proteins well suppose there there is a, a peptide formed of only two amino acids then it is known as what dipeptide if it is formed of three amino acids it is known as tripeptide. If it is formed of four amino acids, it surely you 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 must know it is called what a tetrapeptide. If it is formed of five amino acids, it is known as what a pentapeptide and hexapeptide and heptapeptide and so on. And if it is formed of what uh, more ten or more than ten amino acids, that that is known as what polypeptide okay polypeptide well as far as the structure of an amino acid is concerned i would like to show you people the structure of amino acid here is what i have drawn the structure of amino acid this is what the alpha carbon alpha carbon and this is what amino group this is known as carboxyl group Okay, you can show the carboxyl group like, like this. You can show the amino group like this, like this. Okay, and uh, this is hydrogen, the essential part of, essential part of an amino acid. And uh, uh, this is known, this is R. R means what? Alkyl group. Okay, and this alkyl group is the, actual actual thing which uh, differ in different amino acids how how different amino acids are different from each other that is due to what not the amino group not the carboxyl group carboxyl group is essentially the part of what an amino acid okay hydrogen is the essential part of amino acid car this carbon alpha carbon is that very carbon which joins the alkyl group and what the amino group carboxyl group and hydrogen so uh, you might have you might have uh, 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 you might uh, you might have heard a song doston ke darmiyan wajh dosti hai tu meri zindagi hai tu so the, if you say that the carboxyl group this carboxyl group and this uh, amino group and uh, what this uh, uh, alkyl group and hydrogen all these are the friends like as the mother as the mother is uh, the cementing factor of the family same is true here this this carbon acts as the mother or uh, in other words if the father you if you take into consideration the father if the father is the is the cementing factor then what you will say? It is what the alpha carbon which acts as the mother of what the whole molecule. All these, all these uh, groups. I mean carboxyl group and uh, this amino group and uh, hydrogen and this alkyl group. These are joined together through what this alpha carbon. Now. This bond, this bond has been given the name. That name is what? The 
this bond is called what phi bond phi bond and this bond this bond is known as what psi bond what psi bond and uh, now let us see how the uh, how two amino acids they are bonded how the linkage is formed look this is one amino acid up to here this is one amino acid this is the second amino acid okay this hydroxyl group of the carboxyl group hydroxyl group of the carboxyl group you know hydroxyl group also acts as the radical hydroxyl group of the carboxyl group reacts with hydrogen of the amino group and forms water okay and this bond is formed this bond this c and bond is known as what the peptide bond okay and uh, as i have told you people earlier if there are two amino acids then it is uh, the structure is known as what dipeptide if there are three amino acids it is known as what tripeptide now let me let me show you people certain examples some examples of uh, the amino acid for example this r this r might be what uh, like like ch3 if it is ch3 then r is equal to what ch3 c c o o h and n h2 here is hydrogen and this uh, this is known as what now this amino acid is known as what it is known as alanine what alanine okay now if you say what here is suppose here is phenyl group okay here is what phenyl group attached to it okay like this like this it is known as what phenyl phenyl alanine phenyl alanine okay and if suppose here is what here is ch3 ch3 okay this would be what ch one two three four this is known as what valine so as i have told you people the alkyl group keeps on changing alkyl group is nothing but the head but the but the face of uh, an amino acid you know all the human beings they have the hand they have the legs they have the the trunk and you cannot you cannot distinguish certain person through through all these things you are always asked by certain certain agency or certain uh, certain company when you apply uh, they say what you must paste your passport sized photograph of and you you put there you paste there your photograph of your your face not your hand not your legs so something which distinguish you is your face okay and uh, same is true here alkyl group is nothing but the face of an amino acid okay and you know there are as many as as many as uh, 170 amino acids the naturally occurring amino acids are uh, 170 okay how we came to know that there are 170 these amino acids suppose this is the cell total number of amino acids which have been which have been extracted from the cell these are what 170 among these amino acids among these amino acids there are 25 amino acids which are found in proteins okay so these are known as proteinaceous amino acids what proteinaceous amino acids right proteinaceous and here are what 
145 amino acids are there which are non proteinaceous non proteinaceous okay among these 25 amino acids we find 20 amino acids are there which repeat keep on repeating commonly in the proteins and only five amino acids are there which are found in certain proteins these are not found in, in certain proteins these, are, these may be found in, 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 in some protein, these are absent in other protein, but 20 amino acids are common. These are found almost in all the proteins, okay? Now one thing, and that is what? You see that this, all the peptides, all the peptides, all the proteins, they have one end which, which has the amino group. And the other end is formed of what? Carboxyl group. But ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you people that in the next lecture, I will tell you people that there are certain peptides in which both the sides are there in which there is no more, no more end terminal. Okay. There is no more amino group at the end terminal. I will tell you people in the next lecture, inshallah. Thank you very much. If you like,